In today's video, we're talking about Selenium automation testing. We're going to talk about mimicking user interactions on web pages. To begin, let's introduce the Selenium's Actions API. And this is part of Selenium WebDriver framework. This API allows users to perform complex user interactions on web pages that may not be achievable with simple commands. The Actions API provides a way to simulate more advanced user interactions. And so I'll be covering some of the interactions that we all can simulate. The first is mouse interactions. This includes interactions such as clicking, double clicking, right clicking, dragging and dropping elements, hovering over elements, and others. You can also simulate keyboard interactions. This involves simulating keyboard events like typing text, pressing keys, like enter or tab, as well as key combinations such as control C and control V. We can also simulate pen interactions. And a pen is a type of pointer input that has most of the same behavior as a mouse, but can also have event properties unique to a stylus. So additionally, while a mouse has five buttons, a pen has three equivalent button states. And we don't have to focus too much on this, but this is just one type of interaction we can mimic. And the final interaction we can mimic is scroll wheel actions. And this is the most common scenario. Unlike traditional click and send keys methods, the actions class does not automatically scroll the target element into view. So this method will need to be used if elements are not already inside the view port. And so the actions API in Selenium WebDriver is usually used in conjunction with the actions class. Here's a basic example. So first we specify a hoverable uh, web element and we find that web element by ID for hover. Next, we create a new actions driver. And then we do move to element and we have that hoverable. And then we click perform. And so basically what this example does is you specify an element and then you basically specify your mouse to move to that element. And this can be used in more complex interactions such as uh, drag and drops and so on. But basically, the Actions API allows you to create more complex interactions, which can be useful in automating web applications that require such applications and interactions. So now I'm going to show you some code on how to run the Actions API. So right here, I have a new class that I made, uh, and it's called Actions API Test uh, right here. And basically what it does is it calls uh, this booking page right here. And so if I go to the booking page right here, um, this is basically, um, this is essentially the class that uses the Actions API. And so uh, what I have here is first I've imported uh, OpenAI, uh, openqa.selenium.interactions. And then now I have four different methods in here. So the first method I have right here is scroll down. And so what this does, it goes to this URL right here and then we pause for about one second so you can see that we're at the top of the page. And then it basically drags us down to the footer right here. Uh, and so basically what it does is it mimics scrolling. So it scrolls all the way down to the bottom of the page. And so that's what we do here with the Actions API. See, we see we say scroll from origin and then perform. Uh, and so if I run this, You can see that we start at the top of the page and then it scrolls down all the way to the bottom. And so the part that calls the actions API is this bottom part right here, uh, scroll from origin, scroll origin, which uh, we specified up here and then perform. So that's the first one. So that's scrolling. The next thing we're gonna look at is copying and pasting. So again, we go to the URL right here. And then next what we do is we essentially we locate the text field that we have. So text field right here. Um, these strings on top of here, these are basically some things that you need to set up in order to control uh, copy and paste. And then what we do is we use the actions API again, and then we find the field. And then we basically, we, uh, we copy the welcome to Selenium automation testing on the web page from some part of the web page. And then what we do is we move it over and we paste it somewhere else. So right here, command control, and then we paste it right here, and then we perform it. 
So this is basically essentially copy and pasting. So you're grabbing some part of the web page and then you're pasting it into the text box. And so if I run this, we see that it basically pastes right here. Uh, welcome to Selenium Automation on testing, testing. And uh, that's what we have here. And so let me close that. Uh, next, what we have is we have mouse pause. And essentially what this does is this basically travels and clicks onto this box right here, text two and then it waits and then it paces these uh, items right here. And so if I run this, this is a very simple one. So if I run this, um, it's not too obvious that my mouse is moving, but what it basically does is it mimics the mouse clicking onto that field. So it, it, it first clicked onto that field and then it entered, uh, although it's not that apparent on uh, this driver right here. So go ahead and close this. So that's, the mouse uh, pausing and finally we have drag and drop and so what this is doing is basically we're dragging and dropping elements on the web page and so we're using this URL right here and basically we're uh, dragging from this part right here to this spot right here and then we're using drag and drop uh, perform and so go ahead and run this This one usually runs a little bit slower. So we see that this W3 schools image right here, it starts there and let's see what happens. So we give it some time to load. And yeah, so this is a little bit slower. Um, it's multiple reasons. One is their API and one it's um, the function might be itself slower. But yeah, as you saw, it dragged it from here and dropped it to here. So that's drag and drop. And yeah, so that basically is some of the different things and uh, different interactions you can mimic with Actions API. Um, there's a lot more that you can do, but in this video, we covered four main ones. So the first one was scrolling down. So we use scroll from origin right here in the Actions API. Uh, and, and each time we called the Actions API, we did new Actions driver, and then we ran the Actions API. For copy and paste, what we did was we used send keys right here, and we used, uh, we used command control um, for copy and pasting. For pause, uh, mouse pause right here, we used the click and hold part of Actions API. And then finally, for the drag and drop, we used the drag and drop part of Action API. So we covered four different interactions you can use with the Actions API. Um, and yeah, uh, if you found this video helpful, give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for listening. Bye.